Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Mike from SneakerHistory.com and we are back with another video. Guys, thank you so much for dropping back on by. If you haven't done so already or this is your first time here, hit the subscribe button down below. We're almost at a thousand subscribers. We're at 800 plus now. We're trying to get to a thousand before the end of the month. That would be awesome just to really just cap off the end of the month with that with that thousand mark. So go ahead and do so if you haven't. Like, comment on the video so that way more people can see the video and then more people can subscribe to the channel. Now, if you haven't done so already, because I clearly forget to tell you guys every time, but hit the notification bell. Something I always forget about, but hit the notification bell because they'll let you know every time I drop a new video, which I'm trying to make sure happens either every Monday or every Tuesday every week. So that way you guys have new content to start your week off with. Now, if you need to find me outside of YouTube, find me on Instagram and Twitter at MadWatcher789. And of course, you can always find me on the Sneaker History Podcast and SneakerHistory.com. All right, guys. Today, I am bringing you a top 10 list, but the list that has no order, but it is an important list for me to bring you guys because I think it's something that doesn't really get talked about as much because in a land of sneakers, especially in YouTube and just uh, sneaker media, the hype sneakers, the most expensive sneakers get the most shine. But as a normal human being who has, you know, bills, has obligations, have, you know, things that needs to be taken care of, I know it's not practical all the time to go out and buy a $200 sneaker or in the case of a lot of things, probably more than $200. So especially the holiday season coming up, I want to bring this list out to everybody because this is kind of a weird point of the year where maybe your sneakers have worn out over the, the year or maybe school started and you know maybe you need something for sport uh, you know basketball sneaker or maybe your shoes are just getting worn out because it's you know it, it just is you, you put a lot of miles on them so what i want to do is actually bring you a list of sneakers that i think are probably the best out there for 100 dollars or less that way i can show you something that's really nice but something can save a little money and keep some some money in your pockets for the holidays and other things you guys have, may have going on because again it's not realistic for everyone to be shelling out so much money on, you know, StockX, GOAT, Nike, what, et cetera, et cetera. Sometimes it's just, it makes more sense for, again, a more value driven shoe, but just because they're value driven does not mean that they are a bad shoe or ugly shoe by any means. Actually, let's see, I'm bringing you guys 10 shoes. Five of them are next to me. I've done reviews on these and honestly, some of the best, uh, best reception I've gotten is of two of these sneakers that I've done reviews on. It have been very value driven. Now, some of them I don't have, so I'm going to put pictures up for you guys, but let's go ahead and jump into it. I'm going to have my list here. I'm going to try to keep track of everything. Uh, so that way I can bring you guys again, the best 10 shoes I've seen for hundred dollars or less. And I'll leave links below so you guys can check them out on the respective websites and realize that although I'm bringing you prices from the websites of the brand, do you research? Because a lot of times these sneakers will be available at different retailers for less money. So just because there's, I'm saying, oh, it could be 99 bucks here, do some searching because it can be maybe 89 or 79 somewhere else just because it may be sitting on a uh, shelf at Foot Locker or Foot Action, whatever it may be. Now, let's get right into it. And our first shoe is going to be the New Balance 327. Now, the New Balance 327 is a sneaker that I think released in late 2019, early 2020, and it sold out just left and right. You could never get your hand on it, but they produced so much of it and finally got, got it in the hands of just the everyday sneaker consumer that the prices have gone down and have been easy to get. And they are a great mix of vintage sneaker and a mixture of that chunky sole that people like now. And there's some great colorways out there. Now there are some higher end ones that are more than hundred bucks, but that's typically like maybe a very, uh, you know, heavy suede or a co collaboration or, you know, just whatever it may be, but just know that there are some colorways out there, some materials out there that are going to be between 89 and $99. And I'll put a link below to the New Balance website so you guys can check those out. And of course, I put a picture up already so you guys can see what the shoe looked like if you hadn't seen it before. Good looking shoe. Again, something I never had, but something I'm interested in. And with the prices being that low, I'm pretty interested to get my hands on it. Probably won't do a review because they've been reviewed to the ground, but something I think I just want to add to the personal collection. Now, the next shoe we're going to look at is actually one I have next to me, another New Balance actually, and it's going to be the 5740. Now the 5740 was an update of the 574 and the way New Balance described is as 80s meets 90 design, but it's really cool because they really kept the tradition of the you know different cuts and the shape of the shoe, but they updated it to where it looked a little bit sleeker than the 57 or 574 does, which is the reason I like the 5740 better. Now this initial launch colorway I think was 110 or 100 no 110 bucks, but there are different colorways out there now because again the sneakers see there is 
there's more of them out there that are a little cheaper. And from my notes here, I've seen some out there for about $99.99. That's probably the cheapest I've seen, but again, that's on a New Balance website. That's without be finding anywhere on sale, which you can find a sneaker on sale. So check them out. Again, I'll put a link down below so you guys can check out what I saw on the website, but keep doing your research. You'll find it cheaper, I guarantee it. All right, guys, another shoe we're gonna look at, we're gonna move from New Balance to ASIC. And you guys know this one because you guys have done, you guys have blown my mind with the video that I, I've done for the ASIC Japan S. So thank you before we get into this shoe. I appreciate you guys going to watch this because I don't think anybody was checking for this sneaker, but the fact that so many people wanted to watch the video, I appreciate you guys. But you saw that when I reviewed this shoe, I got it because I was really frustrated with the whole not being able to get a Dunk or Jordan 1 Low. So this is a great alternative at a great price. And let me check my notes once more here. So with the Japan S, they're ranging from about $75 to $90, but there are certain colorways, I think even cheaper, like the $59 mark on the ASIC website. Um, very simple, straight to the point shoe but again it's one of those shoes that everybody's really kind of jumping head over heels for that that vintage dunk you know jordan look and then you can get it without that crazy price tag and they go they, they look good you can get some that are more for like shorts or more for jeans they, they do a, they look good so check them out they're a great looking shoe and you don't have to worry about things selling out because typically if a colorway sells out it seems like they replenish them pretty decently this particular colorway i'm not too sure because this was like a special country pack but they're traditional basic colorways they seem to replenish them every so often so you'll, you'll have a great chance of getting the one you really want all right guys so our number four shoe is actually one i don't have which is weird i should have it but it is going to be the reebok club c reebok club c kind of in that same same vein as the the japan s it is that traditional sneaker very nice they come in many different materials from leathers to suede heck they may even have like a nylon pairs now but i, I let's just say leather and suede to be safe of course i've already put a picture up so you guys can check them out if you haven't but they're a great looking shoe uh, and the price point is typically 80 to 90 bucks. And again, it's one of those sneakers you can find super cheap if you just do your research, not only on Reebok's website, but different places. Heck, if you're out and about and you decide to hit an outlet, go to a Reebok outlet. You can find them pretty cheap, not only for the 80 90, but I've honestly seen them for 30, 40 bucks. And they have like the vintage look ones, the pure white ones, again, suede ones. There's so many different ones. And again, just a really clean looking shoe that really holds up. I actually bought my son a pair of them uh, a year or so ago and he's seven uh of course they were cheaper than the, the 70 dollar mark but for a seven year old who's really active you know running around which most seven year olds are they hold up the shoe held up through all of playing outside school whatever it may be so it's a great shoe especially again if you have a, a younger younger kid and just want to make sure it kind of holds up for for a while so check those out and again they're classic you, you can't you can't you can't be, go wrong with those and since it is Boktober, we're gonna stay with a couple more Reeboks. The Club C Legacy. Uh, and I said that completely wrong. Let's just backtrack that. The Classic Leather Legacy. There is a Club C Legacy, but the one I'm talking about today is gonna be the Classic Leather Legacy. And that shoe, picture up here, of course, it is a very, very good looking shoe. Very underrated in my opinion. Again, comes in different materials. Uh, very sleek look, so it's a vintage upper again, uh, but it has that aggressive outsole. And it is something that, again, fits the mold of what is popular in, in sneakers right now. And not only does it do that for you, I mean, you're gonna get, let's see, another price point of 80 to 90 bucks. And there are so many different colors out there. Go to the Reebok website, check them out. And again, I, I think you can find them cheaper. I was on the Finish Line website not too long ago, and I think they were cheaper. Um, just keep your eyes open. These are great shoes, come in many colorways that you can mix and match to fit whatever mood you're in, whatever outfit you're trying to get together, and you're not doing it, and you're not breaking a bank to do so. So Classic Level Legacy is a great one and there's different iterations of that because again there's a club c legacy i think in that same price point and i want to say there is a classic leather az legacy so it has like the aztec if you guys remember the classic aztec a rebuy sneaker so there's plenty of iterations of that shoe check them out um you you won't be upset trust me all right so we looked at the classic leather legacy now i'm going to bring you guys the actual classic leather and this was a particular one now this shoe itself is pretty cheap i think cheaper than the 85 dollars we're going to look at the particular colorway i have now but the reason i'm bringing you guys this particular one because it is sitting in full size runs at reebok and is the human rights now colorway you guys saw the review i did on this one and 85 dollars you're getting a very 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 high quality nappy suede mesh upper uh really cool details that aren't on a traditional classic leather and it's a vintage shoe i am i'm at a loss of words because the fact that there's like people don't talk about things like this anymore just mind-blowing because this is great materials and value while a lot of people are chasing around these plastic filling shoes 
just because they have the look that everyone has on Instagram or on whatever website they're looking. Check out all the things. Experiment with your style. Take the blinders off. There's a lot of things out there. And this is one of those shoes. I never owned a classic leather, or at least not that I remember. Maybe, maybe it's a kid. But this sneaker is so good. I've worn it so much where my, uh, you know, my, my white suede is getting a little grayish. But you guys got to check this out. Again, take the blinders off. There's a lot of things out there and you're not having to spend a ton of money. Heck, if you're like, you know what? I got 300 bucks to spend and this is just an example. And you're like thinking about buying this one shoe that has questionable quality. Look at the things I'm showing you today. Maybe you can buy two shoes, save you some money, or maybe buy one shoe, better quality than the, that $300 shoe. So check it out because again, the classic leather, uh, Human Rights Now sneakers, full size runs. There's multiple colors of it. There's black, there's white. And then there's also two club C's in the same uh, same pack. So check them out. This is great, great materials, great price, 85 bucks. And I guarantee you, again, you keep digging, you'll find them cheaper. All right, guys, let's see. That was number six. So number seven is a sneaker I don't have. I had it before. Um, oh man, you know what? My wife has a pair and I thought I was, they had them nearby, but I don't. But you guys have seen them before. If not, picture it is going to be the Adidas Stan Smith, classic sneaker. Again, comes in many different, different, uh, wow, lost track of the word. <laughs> many different materials. So whether it be leather, whether it be uh, suede, there are some crazy collaborations out there. I think there's like a, a Disney collaboration where it's like Monsters Inc. where it's fuzzy. So there's a lot of things out there and they are, again, they're cheap. They're, and I say cheap in a sense of price, not in materials or in quality, because they, they last forever. Stan Smith is a tank. And let's just go to the, to, to the board here. Stan Smith, 85 to 100 bucks. And that's before you find them on sale because you can find a Stan Smith on sale Super easy. Check any shoe site. You can find a Stan Smith on sale. Um, just check it out. I mean, it goes with everything. Stan Smith is one of those shoes you can dress up, dress down. Uh, you can put on a skateboard, whatever you want to do. The Stan Smith is there and it is a great classic model. Don't take it for granted because you can, again, complete any look with a Stan Smith. All right. So that was number seven. So we're going to go, we're going to go number eight, which is going to be a basketball shoe. So this is our first real, real basketball shoe we're going to talk about a performance model and it's from Puma. The Puma Court Rider, again, picture up here, I don't, I don't have that one. I have a few Puma basketballs, but not that particular one. But the Puma Court Rider is actually the sneaker that uh, LaMelo Ball wore in his Rookie of the Year campaign last year. And it was a good shoe. I've looked at reviews from uh, Soul Brothers. I looked at reviews from from wear testers and they're great, they're, they're good shoes. They're good shoes. Uh, from a lot of things I've seen, they're very reminiscent of how Kyrie's still on court. So it's not gonna be the most premier cushioning, premier materials, but they are good on court. I mean, you've seen a rookie of the year and other players actually playing them in the NBA. So really hard to, I mean, everyone has a preference. I should say, that. let's start there. I'm not saying it's gonna be amazing for everybody, but it is a, at least an off, $100. The shoe is $100. Performance basketball sneakers are pretty pricey, especially, you know, say you're starting basketball as you're talking to my, my students out there. Say you're starting basketball, which is October, so practice is starting up, games are about to start up. You want a good shoe, but you don't want to break the bank, well, check out the Puma Court Rider. Very solid shoe. It is on the Puma website. I'm sure there are discount codes you can get for it. I'm sure it's on sale somewhere else, so maybe you can get it for a little cheaper. So that way, if you notice a shoe that, hey, you know what? I wanted to test out, but I, I did, wasn't sure you know, how much it costs. Well, now you know, 100 bucks, great shoe, check it out. All right, so we have two more sneakers to finish up our list, and I'm gonna finish up with a couple more Adidas. The first one is going to be the Forum. Now the form goes back to that same deal we've been talking about. Everyone's going over crazy over dunks and Jordan 1 lows or Jordan 1s in general. Check out the forms. Not this particular colorway. A, this one sold out. B, this was a special collaboration. But it keeps the same shape and typically the same materials. I know the 84s have a nice material than the typical forms, but they're still going to range from $80 for the lows, $90 for the highs, and I think up to $100 if there's anything special. So I think the 84 cuts are the $100 ones. I'm going to put a link down below. The 84s typically sell out pretty quickly, but you get options of a high and low, again, retro looking sneaker uh, that goes great with shorts, sweats, jeans, whatever. Check them out. This is a great shoe. One of my one of my favorite retros of the year. Uh, Adidas is really pushing these hard and there's just a ton of options on them on Adidas website. But also again, check out the places because Adidas has them, but people fail to look at all the places where they're going to be on sale even more. So check out the form in both the high and uh, low cut. And guys, probably my overall favorite pick, even though these weren't in any particular order, I saved this one for last because I think it was my favorite one just because it came under the radar. There was no fanfare. It just showed up. And it's the Adidas Ozelia. This sneaker, you guys started reviewing this one. It is a sleek sneaker. It is something that very, has a lot of 
Yeezy design language, but without the Yeezy price, this is gonna cost you $100. And again, check out different sites. Well, you know what? I don't think they sell us on different sites right now. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull back on that one. I'm trying to think guys. I know, I just saw something mentioned says Adidas and adidas.com only, but dude, just keep checking. Cause maybe if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, I may have saw it somewhere else. Maybe like on end in the UK. Um, but there's a ton of different colors. These are a hundred bucks. These are a nice, comfortable shoe. Um, I really, they're light, they're, they're, they're snug, they're, they're comfortable, man. I don't know what else to say about them. They look great. Got your hits of 3M on the stripes here and the three, the three stripe logo. Got a little bit of a uh, faux suede toe cap. Again, everyone wants that Yeezy design look, but it, A, you can never get through on confirmed or whatever website's doing the, the raffle. There's a whole page of just so many different colors of these from these gradient colors, like this orange we're looking at here, to solid colors. It's like a cream solid color, a gray solid color, black solid color that look good. So check them out. This is probably, again, one of my favorite budget models and favorite probably new models of 2021. So check those earlier out and, you know, let me know what you think. Again, links in the bio, guys. So that's the top 10 sneakers I have for $100 or less. I know it's kind of ranting on some of these or, or, or you know, rambling, but it's really because, again, guys, you see, although I do reviews on sneakers that are probably a bit more pricey sometimes, I'm trying to let you guys know that's not what it's about because I always try to find a value, whether it be a dunk I'm reviewing or, you know, a Jordan, I try to find it for cheaper than, than what it should be because I hate spending full price. I don't want to spend 300 bucks on a sneaker. Typically, I have a cap. There's, and then 300, definitely not it. It's lower than that. So just know I am not trying to tell you guys the more expensive, the better. Again, five of the shoes we talked about today I owned. Uh, and I plan on getting the other, other five eventually added to the collection and rotation. And those are probably the ones I wear most. So check them out, guys. I mean, there is, there is nothing wrong with a shoe that is not breaking the bank. So... Again, the link's down in the bio. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if there's anything I missed. There's a lot of shoes out there. So let me know in the comments if there's anything I missed for that, that good value. And leave it in the comment. If you can, leave a link for people to see so they can check them out as well. But until next time, guys, see ya.